Hello. I'm in uh, Home Designer Pro 2016. I just drew this shape and let it auto re auto rebuild. Roofs. We'll take a look, and it's got a foundation under it because that's what it does. Okay. So as a user, what you can do, oh, the, I just I didn't I just now realize these walls don't line up. Let me line them up. Okay. That's a little bit better. Now we'll go over here to wall tools and uh, put an invisible wall across here, which makes that essentially a room. I'm going to open that up, go to the structure tab, and see right there it says floor under this room. I'm going to uncheck floor under this room, just temporarily. Let's see what that did. And I assume auto rebuild foundations is on. I, I haven't even looked, but I assume it is. Yeah, the foundation's still there. Okay. I'm going to go back to plan and get rid of that. So you're a user of software. You don't have to just do what it does automatically. You just use its tools. <coughs> and now there's no foundation. Now. Okay, now let's just raise this up. I'm going to open object, go to the structure tab, and the floor is set to zero. Well, let's uncheck default and set it to uh, 42 inches. Like if it's going to be a uh, such a window at a kitchen. Let me raise it up. Now I created a, another problem, <laughs> and now I've got a hole there. Hole there. Uh, okay. But anyway, you get the idea. I'm not just going to gloss over that. I'll, I'll do something about it in a minute. We'll put windows in our walls. But the point is, when I, I'd like to do it this way because I can control the windows more easily uh, this way than with a box, box window tool. <coughs> okay, there's that. And uh, we'll look inside here. If you want to make, make this a window seat, this is also the way to do it. Works a little bit better on the inside than on the outside. I just noticed those windows are coming in a little bit high. Where's the open icon? Oh, there it is. What's it doing over there? What's the ceiling height in here? I, th I just assumed it was eight feet. Well, it says nine feet. I don't believe it. That didn't look like nine feet. Just a minute. Let me check. <laughs> I didn't check this. Let's edit default settings floor. Should say 108 now. Okay, it does. All right. It just, it looks a little funny. I just thought I would check. Those windows look like this. Oh, of course. I raised the floor up, and that's why the rip windows look so high. <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot. I didn't think about that. We want these to match, so uh, what is that? 58. We'll apply that to this one. Just so they match. Okay. Now, in terms of the outside, one of the things you can do, I'm going to go into a different kind of camera, an elevation camera. I'm going <clears> to <throat> go to uh, cabinet tools. I can find cat. Oh, there they are. And put a soffit here. Put it right. Whoops, it disappeared. Oh, I see it popped over there. Let me put it over here. I wanted to. Uh, not used to the open icon being over here. Okay. We want to. <coughs> we wanted to uh, depth wise, we just uh, an inch thick. And the height, I don't particularly care. I need it over right about there. You can probably see 
think see where I'm what I'm thinking to do. I'm just going to take this one inch thick soffit and patch the hole there. It wants to pop up. I want it down there. Okay, it stayed. Now I'm going to use the eyedropper to put that material on the. Uh, Oh, it's not working. I must not have it lined up. Oh, I see. There's the soffit there. That's the reason it wasn't working. Well, that's where I wanted it. Why does it look stupid like that? I guess I need to uh, move it out a little bit. Let's hit the down arrow key to move it out a little bit. I'm going to try to make it a little thicker. Make it two inches thick. <laughs> it just won't cover up those things. You, this used to work in, in other other uh, versions. I don't know why it's being so contrary now. Okay. Well, that's not working very good. That's disappointing. Several versions ago, this would work. Um, let's see if there's another way I can fix it. I'll, I'll delete that... Uh, Stop it. See if I can get the wall polyline. This probably won't. Yeah, I don't think this will work. I was thinking about breaking the polyline. <laughs> it won't break. I might need to try it, try it in this kind of camera. I just need to. Uh, I want. I want to reshape it, and then well, okay, it's not working. Well, I haven't had this problem in 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 Chief Architect Premiere. I've got some other choices, but in in Pro, we are kind of stuck with. Uh, well, this sucks. Are there any other tools I've got? Let's see. Custom backsplash. I doubt that that'll work, but I'll try it. I draw a custom backsplash across there. Well, that kind of sort of works. I'm just going to eyedropper the same material, and I don't want tile there. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. <laughs> so you, get, you see I put a custom backsplash there to cover the hole. It's kind of a workaround, but... Uh, I actually prefer this to the box tool, which is very uh, limited. Let's see, we'll go over to the window tools. Here's the box tool. And it, it, it's okay. If you need something really simple, you can just stick that in there and, there and it works okay. Let me go back to that camera view. It certainly is a lot easier and faster. <clears throat> but you have less control. I'm click on the bottom and pull it up. Oh, yeah, the box tool works pretty good. It, it didn't use it. I've actually improved it over the years. It didn't used to work this good. But changing the windows, which was your original complaint, they haven't fixed. I mean, you can. What you do is you click and then hit the tab key. Then you can open the dialog box. For a particular window but you can't put another window in there Let, let's well, I'm continually uh, having to eat my words I'm going to delete that and then go to the window tool yeah see I, I can't put a window back in there uh, I, the window I just hit control Z and, uh, and, and that's put the window back in there that was in there but you can't you can alter this window that's there but you can't add another window so that's th that's where this solution is a little bit more work but it gives you more control over the windows and that's that's what was kind of my point point. and with a box window you click on it and then you hit the tab key then you can uh, edit a window or, or remove it or open the dialog box click on it uh, hit the tab key and then you can open the dialog or delete or whatever you want to do. 
So that's what I can tell you about that. That's probably not everything that you could possibly know about this sort of thing, but uh, um, it's more perhaps than you knew before. So in this case, uh, a new tool that they just added uh, a version or two ago is this uh, custom backsplash tool, and, and that's, that worked better than a soffit. Usually in the old days, we would put a soffit across there and that would work, but this backsplash tool worked just fine, and I think it still looks okay from the inside. It didn't look that bad to begin with from the inside. Get a regular camera. Yeah, the if you can get the box bay tool to to work for your purposes, it, it works better than what I just showed you. But this is a a way that you can um, a workaround that you you can go ahead and get some some things done. Like I, I could take this window here and change it. I can move it over, make it skinny, and then copy it. And this is what you can't do with a box bay. Uh, tool, but with just walls and windows, you can. Okay? Thanks for your kind attention.